this previous uh, slides and the previous uh, classes, if you say that, we have uh, two types of extractors, cross-application and application-specific. The scope of falls under application-specific. So then what, happen, what happens is that it is not a SAP predefined extractor. It is a generic data, generic extractor. We have to create this data source. And whenever I create a data source, obviously I have to create my data targets. So I don't have a predefined data targets also for this. So that is a your SAP COPA. So COPA we use especially for controlling and profitability analysis. So where we get this data? If you take a comparing with other data sources and COPA data source, other data sources, what happens is it is contains, for example, let's take a sales data source. It contains a data from tables. What tables? It contains a data from sales related tables. Okay, if you take MM, material management, it contains a data from MM, material management related tables. Data coming. But if we come to the COPA, COPA takes data from sales, MM, FICO, it goes on. It's like a cost center controlling. So it is not related to one particular domain or one particular data or one particular table. It is a mix of all these things. How? Why it is creating like this? The reason because if I want to do the profitability analysis, I need all the data, then only I can do analysis. Otherwise, it is not possible. For example, I want to find out I'm selling one product and what is the profit on this product? If I want to find out the profit on this product, I need a sales information. Then how much materials quantity we sold? Then we need to find out like, you know, what is the cost we have spent for this when we're doing a manufacturing? That is called cost of the product. We have to take care consideration of all these things, then we'll do calculation, then we'll find out what is the profit of the product. Is it clear, guys? Yes, good. Yes. Okay. So, like that, we do all the stuff. Then what happens is, then it is a mix of all the modules, then it will create one database that is called COPA data source. So, how do work with the COPA, right? How do create a COPA data sources? Let's check it out. First, you need to think is you need to log on to your ECC system. I have a two systems. Let me close this. Select ECC system. Log on to ECC system. <coughs> the first transaction code KEB zero. Whenever you enter KEB0, it goes to COPA, data source for transaction data. By default, it will pick up some name. If you want, you can give a name itself here. Let's say COPA underscore 7A batch. And it is asking your function, do you want to display this data source or you want to create or you want to delete? I want to create. Select create. Then you have a two account types. That is the input values. One is called costing base, another one called account base. Costing based when we select, if we have, if you have a business called manufacturing and you're creating a data source for manufacturing related data, then I'll go for costing based. If you have a business called financial, like a banking services, any financial business, then I'll go for account based. These are two inputs I have. And operating concern, every company has their operating concern. This is, has been created by your FICO guy. So you don't need to worry about this operating concern. Whenever you're creating a data source, you can check with your FICO people or your business users what is the operating concern I need to enter. They will provide the operating concern for you. Okay. Now, for training purpose, SAP has created one operating concern that is called worldwide. Operating concern for IDES worldwide, it's integrated development education system that is called IDEA. You can select that one. Press enter, it will display here. Okay, idea. Once you've done all the stuff, click on execute. When you execute, it will display to you. Please observe here. This is your data source name. And this is generic delta because it is a generic data source. Delta method always will be generic delta. This is your trans, uh, source system and this is your operating concern. 
because it is a cost based and you have a short text medium text long text and if you want to do any partitioning by the field name you can enter the field name please observe that we have a list of characteristics and if you go down let me go down scroll down you can see value fields value fields are all key figures these are all the currencies you can see all the key figures so it will display what are the key figures and what are the characteristics are available for this data source by default okay so in this what happens is where there we have a a separate set of fields which has been already selected and grayed out we call these are all mandatory fields what is a mandatory fields currency type fiscal year period plan indicator or action indicator record type version and company code these are all the mandatory fields which you cannot unselect the rest of things yes you have option to unselect but we have a huge number of fields here everything is selected by default then how do i uncheck these things if i don't require all these fields right according to my requirement whatever the fields i want i will select only those fields so if you want to unselect all of them there is a transaction code call init equal to init if you enter this <coughs> it will automatically <coughs> fill up your short medium long description of field name see i am doing a partitioning based on my company code based on the field name it comes automatically it's again optional if you want you can keep it here or if you want you can enter anything or if you don't have anything also you can keep it as a blank so now except the mandatory fields rest of all the fields has been deselected automatically so now what i am doing here according to my requirement i am going to select only revenue just come down and look for for training purpose please select only a couple one or two don't select more if you select more you, you will end up installing this info object in your business content i hope so you are getting my point clear guys yeah so just select only one one or two is maximum that's enough don't go for more so i have selected only revenue for example uh, okay let me go back here there is the button call info catch log so once you click on this one it will open my edit edit screen of my data source this is still my data source is not created i am selecting what field supposed to be in my data source so once i select this one it will go to an edit screen of my data source there it will display again once again the selection of the fields and it will display your extraction structure of your data source then you can decide whether you want all the fields or you want to uncheck and you have option to uncheck the mandatory fields also but you have to make sure that all the mandatory fields should be checked why it is taking too much time okay it's asking a package now i really forgot my packages okay i hope so i have something here save mm is that available right ah 7 am package yes 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 save it do it once again done well, see it's opening all the selected whatever the fields see only selected fields are displaying so these are all the mandatory fields i am going to select physical variant and a period value reporting record type okay company code fine then the plan version okay version record type once you done this one click on save kiran kiran one second kiran hmm 
Kiran, what are these inversion and field only these options, Kiran? Which one? Uh, for the field names, uh, we have four options: so selection, height, field, inversion, and field only. Inversion is nothing but whenever you're taking for this a field for any kind of like currency transformations and all those stuff will go for. The field only, I'm not sure what is because I never use this one. Most of the times you come here and you can select what are the fields you want, whatever the fields you want to hide. This is only what we do it. Okay. okay. Those are all and it's grayed out. It will not be selected. Okay. So your data source has been created successfully. Once you've done this one, then you can go back. So I need to check my data source here, RSA 6. Open this application component. Then I can go for CO, COPA. This is your data source. So my data source has been created. What is the next one? Double click and open. Copy your data source name. That's too slow. Okay, copy your data source name slash and RSA. Enter this. Okay, then you can click on extraction. Okay, once you've done this one, it's very simple. Rest of all, you're aware of this one. You need to log on to BW. Log on to BW, what is the first transaction code? RSDS. Enter your data source, select your source system, go here, select replicates. Then your data source will be available. Okay, now go to RSA first 13, go to RSA 13. Once you go there, select your source system, right click and check open this look for application component then control yes then you have here profitability analysis you can see here your 7am batch can you see here this is your data source Open this, click on change and activate. And the rest of all, you know, guys, right? How to create a transformation, how to install and all that stuff, right? Yes, then go to the fields tab here. First, you need to identify what are the fields are there. It's creating, it's activating your data source. Wait for some time. I think people started working on it, system. That's why it's becoming slow.
Okay, done. Just go to fields tab and identify what are the fields are there. So what I need to do, I need to install the fields one. What I need to go, I need to go to BI content. Okay guys, go to the BI content. You know very well, right? Info objects by info area. I can search for this info objects. These are all the predefined info objects you don't need to create. Install, activate and install them. Then come back to modeling screen. Create one info queue. Keep all these things in your dimensions as per your requirement. Your info cube is ready, your data source is ready. Create a transformation info package DTP. Is it clear? Yes. So that's a copa. Any questions here? But uh, I'll, I'll strongly recommend you in interviews if they ask you, do you know copa? Please say I don't know copa. Because you should have a uh, you know this uh, um, little bit financial knowledge. You need to work with the FICO data sources, FICO tables, FICO terminology. You should uh, you should be aware of all this stuff. So better avoid this. If they ask interviews, say that I didn't work on a copa. Or in case if you are much interested, you have uh, like you can you want to learn, you can learn what are the data sources are there for FICO, very important data sources, very important in cubes which has already been explained to you. Then go there and check what are the tables are there. You can you can do in case if you are much interested, you can learn that you can say that I know COPA also. Fine guys. Okay, bye Raj. Thank you.